hello hello welcome back to my youtube channel my name is tabby if you do not know already and welcome to the first episode of the new and revamped take heart talks which is going to be a topical discussion series one episode a week that'll be about 10 to 15 minutes long talking about something topical so either something you've asked me to discuss something i've seen in the news just something a little longer form than what i can fit onto insta stories because it is the feedback i get the most that you love to hear my opinions and you'd love to hear what I think about things so let's do it I probably will also have a drink or two before <laughs> during these topical discussions mm. this is like one of those instant espresso martinis you can get that you just pour out I mean it's not the greatest but uh it's all right it's all right Okay, the first topic I'm gonna discuss is loneliness and living alone. So here we go, I'm gonna press start on my 10 minutes. Now, this topic is something that I get asked on Instagram a lot because I am 31 years old, uh, living alone for the first time. And I get asked a lot, do you get lonely? Um, and, I, and I think I'm asked it also because I'm single. And also because I'm a woman, like I'm, I don't think you would ask a bloke if he was lonely living alone. I do think it's actually quite a misogynistic view of women. Or maybe it's just that traditionally we should be craving family and kids, right? So people think um, that women would get lonelier easier. So bottom line, no, I don't get lonely. I don't get lonely. Um, this is what I've wanted my entire life. I've always wanted to live alone. I've always wanted my own space. Um, and I think part of it is because I'm such a sociable person and I'm such a bubbly character when I'm outside of the house. And to be honest now, when I'm online, right, which is pretty much 24 seven, that I love being on my own to recharge. Like, is that the extroverted introvert? or the introverted extrovert, like I just need time on my own where I don't have to be switched on and I can just do whatever I want. Um, I can like leave the place a mess and I don't have to worry that that's inconveniencing somebody else or I can, you know, be as loud or as quiet as I want. When I have had housemates, which has been my entire life up until this point, right? My, I used to get home from work and my biggest dread would be that someone would be home and I'd be like putting the key in the door like, please, please, please say they're not back yet, say they're not back yet. Because when I get through the door after work, I just want an hour to just be silent and just unwind. Even to be honest, when I was living in London and the commute is an hour, so you kind of are unwinding, but you're surrounded by people. So very much my personality type is that I do like to be alone um and this is what I've always wanted so and it, and it has it has been true to what I thought it would be it's not like one of those things where I'm like I just want to live alone I just want to live alone and now I'm doing it I'm like oh shit this isn't like this is actually great I I do love it I think loneliness is for me was more of a emotional health thing versus physically not being around people because you can be what's that thing like surrounded by a million people and still be really lonely and I've had that multiple times in my life where you would call me popular or you would say I was well supported if you looked from the outside in like it looked like I had people around me all the time when actually I was so alone and I felt lonely. And that's more, mm. <laughs> I think that's more about vulnerability and being authentic and true to yourself than it is about physically having people around you. Because I know now that I live on my own, if I needed someone to talk to, or if I wanted to talk to somebody, I can pick up a phone and I have a really great support network of friends. Um, if I wanted to go for a coffee with someone, I know I could do that. Like I'm very lucky, I'm in a very central location, so you know I am not far from people. Um, and I have my family here and stuff, but I know that I can do that. And I've built my relationships to be that way. Whereas when I was younger, I talk about it all the time online where I've really struggled with uh, mental health issues from when I was 13 to probably like 25, even in the last year, like I'm back on search relief for the first time in a long time. Um, when I was really struggling with my mental health, I isolated myself and I would withdraw into myself 
And so that's when I would feel lonely because I wasn't connecting with other people. And you could be in a relationship, you could be living with a partner, you could live with your family and you could still feel lonely because it's more about how open and honest you're being and how connected you are to other people. So although I physically live alone, I'm very connected to the people around me. So if I was to call a friend and say I wasn't okay and I needed to talk, I know I would have that support. Whereas like five years ago, I, I probably wouldn't have had that support because you, you have to nurture that. Like you can't just expect people to be that role in your life. Like you have to be willing to be vulnerable. You have to put the work in to support them. Friendships are two-sided, relationships are two-sided and communication is really key in that. What time am I on? Five minutes. I don't know if this is a ramble or if it even makes sense, but do you know what I mean? If you've ever felt that, if you've ever felt surrounded by people, but completely alone. So now when it comes to me living alone, I don't feel it. The, the thing I said at the beginning about like the misogyny of it, I do feel like loneliness is, is more ascribed to women than it would be to men because by society's standards, I should crave a relationship and I should crave a family. Um, I'm single. I've been single nearly 10 years, like definitely eight or nine. I've obviously like seen, like seen people and dated in that time, but my last boyfriend was when I was like 22, 23. Um, I don't seek a relationship. I don't crave a relationship. Maybe one day, I I will have another one, but I don't look for it. I really believe in in making my life as incredible as possible. Like I don't I don't believe in that two halves make a whole. Like a whole person should go into a relationship. So I just whilst it's not happening, whilst I'm not meeting anyone, whilst I'm just not connecting and clicking with somebody, I'm like I'm just going to carry on building this whole life that I love. And then I know that when I do meet somebody, I'm letting them into my life because I already have everything. Like I'm not looking to them to fill a hole or to make me whole. Like it's it's a healthier version of, because when I was younger, I used to think that I needed somebody else's validation or somebody else to give me something. Whereas now, like emotionally, financially, socially, all those things, I have a whole life of my own. So I don't get lonely for a relationship. I don't crave a relationship because I am providing everything I could want and then the bits that I do need from other people I have really good relationships now with my family and with friends um I do get horny <laughs> I get lonely for sex but um, <laughs> then there's dildos then there's sex toys it's okay guys mm. and then I guess the family thing I get a lot of people asking me about this and I feel really bad because I can't really advise anybody, three minutes, um, I do not have that physical, because it is a very physical craving and yearning, the maternal instinct isn't it, and I just don't have that. I want to adopt kids and I want to foster children so I don't have to worry about any of that. Um, but again, like I guess I'll just keep going back to it. like just physically having a child or physically having a partner doesn't mean you won't feel lonely it's do you know what i mean if you're if you're disconnected from them you'll feel you'll probably feel worse because you'll see somebody in front of you and you can't make them understand so i personally think my ease at being alone my comfort with physically being alone is because i'm so comfortable with who i am and i'm so comfortable with what i want and what makes me happy and 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 all and all elements of my personality the good and the bad that i don't yeah, I don't feel lonely because I'm good with who I am and I'm good with my life. And I think you almost have to get good with yourself before you can have healthy relationship. Because if I, like in that one relationship I mentioned 10 years ago, I was not good with myself. I was very young as well, but I wasn't good with myself. And so I felt lonely in that relationship and I felt like that partner didn't understand me. And if I'd have moved in with him, I'd have felt trapped. I'd have felt like I was in like a prison of not getting me and not and not understanding but that's because I didn't get myself so yeah I have a minute and 30 seconds left I hope that gives some insight and no <laughs> 
wasn't just a ramble. Um, how do you feel about loneliness? How do you experience it? Is it similar to what I've described or is it something completely different? We can definitely do like a loneliness uh, point two, point three. We can, we can expand this conversation if you want. Um, I honestly believe that loneliness can be such a state of mind and you just have to choose to step out in faith. You have to choose to step out um, of your comfort zone and ask for help if you feel lonely. Ask for connection. My biggest, I don't know who told me this, there's a, the biggest, pe best piece of advice, the biggest, best piece of advice I've ever been given is that when you're vulnerable, you give other people permission to be vulnerable too. I do that very well. I'm very willing to be vulnerable you can tell me your trick like if you're a follower or a friend um you'll know that you can trust me and that you, you know you come to my dms people tell me all kinds of things because they just want to be heard by somebody that will understand will show them compassion and empathy i do those things very well so then um i get to connect with people but that's because i'm willing to show my shit like i'm willing to show my imperfections and tell my truth and therefore other people feel like they can tell their truth to me. That was 10 minutes. So there we go. That was loneliness on Take Heart Talks. Let me know what you thought below and what you think our next topic should be. Cheers everybody. Bye. <laughs>